mountain time. It's actually two uh, mountains that I'm gonna go and climb. It were actually three, but uh, well. Here's a little um, thing that is always good to remember. Creating expectations is probably the biggest reason why a lot of people are pretty unhappy. And um, I am definitely not perfect in any way with this, but I do try to, uh, to get better at that, to not create expectations and to just let things happen how they happen. And like on this whole trip, uh, there were several people that I wanted to visit uh, and several mountains that I wanted to climb but uh, I tried to create zero expectations so not to attach to the thoughts that you've created on how you wanted things to go not having those thoughts at all just letting things go as how they go because um, otherwise you are definitely going to steal some joy and happiness away from yourself if you do create expectations and as a quote that I don't know by who actually goes, expectations is the thief of joy. So, and it's very true. Hope uh, in this uh, little mountain vlog here, it's a nice little extra thing for anyone watching to remind yourself. Because with mountains, you can't create expectations. You never know how the weather is going to turn out. You never know what's going to happen. So, um, it's important to not have any expectations and just see how the climb is gonna go, see how the moment is gonna unfold, how it is. So, uh, yes, no expectations. All right, off we go. In six hours, we should be at the top. So this is actually where the Via Ferrata starts, um, so I'm gonna gear up, uh, don't wanna fall from here, uh, didn't know actually that it started there, so I should have actually put my equipment on there, but can do it here too. Uh, ignore the noise over there, it's like a bunch of Chinese people making way too much noise, <laughs> which really kills the atmosphere a little bit. But the weather is super bad. It's also starting to rain now, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So I'm a little bit of unsure what to do. Should I go back and save my energy to do this tomorrow? 
the weather conditions tomorrow look way more optimal but uh, had to give it a shot today anyway so it didn't look too bad today but uh, the weather doesn't always turn out as the forecast tells you how it's gonna turn out so let's go up and see if the weather if, if it doesn't start raining more severely and if the mist doesn't get thicker mm, if it does then I will return but otherwise let's go up to the top we go we just climbed the Alpspitze despite being there quite a lot of mist it was still a fun climb I uh, had a little moment where there was a uh, not too many clouds to take a photo and actually see some of the view so that was pretty cool could imagine this to be a very stunning climb uh, when there is no mist at all <laughs> so let's go back down now uh, yep yeah, which is gonna take also like about four hours so yeah <laughs> we'll be back around what time is it now yeah, it's two, so around six or something, we'll be back down. Look at that. I mean, a shower is gonna be very. <laughs> uh, looking forward to a shower. Holy crap. Uh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, taking those shoes off is gonna be great too. Oh. So here in uh, Austria, time to 
climb the Grosslockner. Down below in the description of this video, I will link some other additional information about climbing the Alspitze, like which route that I took, um, equipment lists, uh, and if you even want to go with a guide, although it's a pretty easy mountain, but you know, if people, if you're like really new to mountains, then it's, it never hurts to go with a guide. Uh, I will also link down below a, a website called Explore Share to find a mountain guide. It's a platform that offers a whole bunch of mountain guides for every possible mountain almost out there in the world. Even Mount Everest, yes. <laughs> And if you want to continue this uh, little mountain uh, adventure here with me, then click on the vlog of the Grosslockner, as here is where that adventure actually starts. As I'm here at the starting point, or I mean, not, not too far from the starting point, to climb the Grosslockner, which I'm climbing tomorrow. The link to the other vlog of the Grosslockner is found down below in the description of this video. But with that, this vlog of the Alpspitz is over and the other mountain, the Grosslockner, the highest mountain of Austria, this vlog can start.